three developing now a fatal fire in Tamarack. An investigation is underway after a 29 year old woman was killed inside an apartment home. Her family now telling Local 10 this was no accident. Local 10's Cody Weddle joins us live from the scene with the latest on this story. Cody. So Louie and Eden, at first it appeared this woman had died in this house fire, but then her family told us that her ex-boyfriend had attacked and killed her in a fit of jealousy. And as you can see, the investigation by the Broward Sheriff's Office continues. We hope that they find him. Um, he needs to pay for what she what he done. Relatives of 29 year old Kira Brabham want justice. Firefighters found her dead in her burned up Tamarack apartment Tuesday morning. We're distraught. I mean, yesterday was Christmas. You know, you do this to somebody's family around the holidays. You, you got to pay. There's somebody inside. See, there's somebody inside. There's somebody. Dozens of crews from Tamarack Fire Rescue and the Broward Sheriff's Office responded to the complex located in the 7900 block of South Colony Circle at around 3.30 in the morning. A haze left in the air as smoke billowed from the apartment. We seen a lady getting like, dragged out in like a stretcher. They were like kind of like pumping her chest. Brabham had gone out with a group hey. of friends Monday evening. Her family believes her ex-boyfriend. I like that, man. Shit. She's very what fine. It? Yeah, very man. Fine. Yeah. She's stupid fine. Yeah, man, I like that, man. I but look, but look, though, you, hey, hey, but no, but no, think about it this way. This is just one story. Like, this is one story that we're seeing, and you know all kinds of stories that you probably haven't, and you probably we will cover seven, later on. Hey, we did so but, <laughs> but But it spans a week. That's the thing. It's a week. Yeah. Like like yeah. like two two days of your work is technically two weeks time that nobody gonna know and like literally I, I bet you a week from now it's gonna be another story similar to that and the sad part is I'm telling you right now you are gonna tell me like that ain't that ain't a dime that's a dime and she was fucking with somebody yeah. that was on some nigga shit <laughs> no nah, that was an ex boyfriend shit. it was an ex boyfriend who killed her so I mean I don't know if she had a new boyfriend or. Uh, maybe maybe they'll get into it, man. Let's see. Oh, yeah. Monday evening, her family believes her ex-boyfriend then attacked her in a fit of jealousy after she came back home. She oh, broke up with this guy by... Dragged out in like a stretcher. They were like kind of like pumping her chest. Brabham had gone out with a group of friends Monday evening. Mm. Her family believes her ex-boyfriend then attacked her in a fit of jealousy after she came back home. She broke up with this guy about three or four weeks ago. And listen, if you had a problem with her... And you had to hit her. You didn't even have to hit her. But if you did, why kill her? The Broward Sheriff's Office. Wow. Office. You had a problem with her. You had to hit her. If you did, damn. It's crazy. To say. But she's in, the, she's, in, she's in pain. She just lost her daughter. She's not thinking straight. She's probably just like, yo, you could have just hit her. You could have just hit her. You could have just beat her up. You had to kill her. You know? Yeah, that's pretty sad her in a fit of jealousy after she came back home. She broke up with this guy about three or four weeks ago. And listen, if you had a problem with her and you had to hit her, you didn't even have to hit her. But if you did, why kill her? The Broward Sheriff's Office evacuating the building and restricting access to the area as their investigation stretched into Tuesday afternoon. She has a four-year-old child now that we have to raise and we have to tell him that his mother's gone. It's not fair. Yo, Ock. Uh, I just spoke yo, uh, to a member of Tamarack Fire Rescue. You, you notice how she just said she has a four-year-old son. Like, where's the, like, the father of that son exists. Yeah. Like, he has to deal with that now. And, like, he's nowhere to be found. I'm no, sure he's, he's, he, he's probably in the kid's life, but it's sad because it's like, he's not, he's an after story. Hopefully it all comes together for him. That's one thing about Blackerson, your kids... Um, I'm gonna be around all types of dudes, man. I think that guy's just just be happy that that guy didn't kill his kid too. Yeah. Of this fire, you heard her family there saying she had a son who was four years old. They tell me he was not inside the apartment at the time of uh, this incident, and that so far he does not uh, know that this has happened. The Broward Sheriff's Ooh. Office for now only telling us that homicide detectives are working on this. No word quite yet whether they have a suspect or have made an arrest. Mm. Hey, uh, um, since you always kind of like to um, blame the victim and domestic violence, do you think uh, she had it coming? I don't, I, I don't, I don't think, 
I don't say that the person had to come. I say the dude should have left because we all know how it is when you get into these arguments with women and women say stuff and da 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 da. And many men, listen, many men do a great job absorbing all that bullshit and not lashing out. But then you have some men who, you know, do lash out. And it's, and it's a very small percentage of men within the framework of America because there's so much penalties for it. If the well, penalties were less, you would see more of it. But the penalties are so severe in um, gladder nations for um, for um, abusing or, or, or killing women that um, women are very protected in these societies. So men eat shit a lot. And but some just can't do it. And I say, I wish they would have left because now you're in jail. Your kids don't have a mother or, you know, what I'm saying or father. And it just creates a cycle of generations. Like think about it. Those kids that don't have parents, let's just say they go to foster care or they go, or they get adopted or something. Right. That the trajectory of their life is set back and that may set back your family for generations. Go ahead, man. Yeah, well, I was going to say, uh, it, it's actually a double entendre because it's both. What you just said, categorically, the, the irony is, is that black men, like, like the sun man, he has to do both. Like the irresponsible sun man is, is counterbalances the emotional burden that the sun man who is there for his kids. A lot of people forget, like, it's kind of like a double thing. Like, like, the, like, I've always felt that as a black man. You got to be emotionally emotionally stable enough to not reach that tipping point for like like you know because we don't have as much patience control deferred gratification as other races. So as a sun man, if you do have the emotional capability, you got to hope you're not you're not you're not two notches off from the sun man who's gonna flip. And I think yeah. like we take the brunt force of both both sides. Yeah, definitely. you're black. Good. Hell yeah, I'm black. <laughs> I speak properly because oh. I grew up in a group home, but you know I grew I grew up with no daddy, and my mom was smoking crack back in the eighties. My G, I'm thirty seven. I know about it. You're real black man. You're yeah, black black. yeah, yeah. I sound I sound I sound like Obama, but I can speak like Obama, but I'm not. Blackity black, yeah. 